नमस्कार डियर स्टूडेंट आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन क्लास नाइन साइंस एंड वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग यूनिट सिक्सटीन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द किंगडम फंगी एंड व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द फंगी व्हाट कम्स इन आवर माइंड द फंगस मींस मशरूम सो वी रिलेट फंगस और फंगी टू मशरूम and by looking mushroom we may think that it belongs to plant kingdom but it is not so okay so what are the characteristic of fungus or fungi we will study in today's class so let's begin to study its character one by one so first is about the habitat or how they are found in nature now fungi are the large and diverse group of living organism means they are large in number in earth okay so they are they are about 1 lakh of species of fungi are found on earth they are cosmopolitan means they can survive in different habitat they can be found in mostly in the damp places or the moist place it may be uh, on the piece of log okay plank it uh, it may grow in uh, cardboard it may grow on uh, bag it may grow on your tiffin when you left food inside it or sometime you may have seen it growing on the moist bread surface so all this makes a large species of uh, fungi grow uh, living on the earth or present on the earth okay and second characteristic of the fungi is that they are non vascular non vascular means they do not have conducting tissues like xylem and phloem so they don't have xylem and phloem in them uh, okay instead of that they have hyphae which are filamentous organ which are found in different uh, organisms which belongs to this kingdom okay and they are non flowering means they do not bear flower as well as multicellular organism means the organism are made up of many cell but there is one exception and what is that that is is which is made up of single cell that is unicellular organism and as we already know that all these organism are eukaryotic organism having well defined nucleus and cell organism in it okay and when we talk about the mode of nutrition as they do not contain a chlorophyll in them the mode of nutrition will be heterotrophic and what are heterotrophs those organism which depend upon autotrophs for their uh, food are known as heterotrophs and in case of fungi heterotrophic mode of nutrition are of three types what are they they are saprophytic mode of nutrition what is saprophytic mode of nutrition first one is saprophytic mode of nutrition what is saprophytic mode of nutrition the type of nutrition in which an organism uh, uh, is attached to dead and decayed matter okay which gave the nutrition from the dead and decayed matter which uh, lives in it uh, it uh, secretes enzymes and that enzyme dissolves the organic organic matter present in the dead matter and that dissolved part is absorbed by the organism uh, organ absorbed by the organism and gave the nutrition from it okay that type of mode of nutrition is known as the saprophytic mode of nutrition that can be seen in case of mushroom okay and another type of mode of nutrition that also uh, present in this case is 
a parasitic mode of nutrition. We all know that what are parasites? Parasites are those organisms which lives on the body of other organisms that is host cell and uh, which, get, uh, which causes harmful to the host cell but gets the benefit from them and take the absorb nutrition, uh, digested nutrition from the organisms that is host cell and uh, get benefit for itself. Okay, and another type of mode of nut uh, nutrition is symbiotic mode of nutrition, which is seen in lichen. Okay, and uh, L I C H E N lichen, and uh, which is the inter interaction between two organisms. Okay, which are interrelated with each other in uh, in transfer of benefit from one to other one. Also, both of them get benefit from each other. Okay, is, is it clear? So, for example, if you take in our general life, we see the animal, okay, like a, a cow, a buffalo, on their body, sometimes crew and other uh, birds, they sit and uh, they uh, take uh, some food from them, means they kill the insect, okay, on the body of uh, cow uh, or other animals. So in this case, what happened? Buffalo uh, get rid of the insect which were uh, which were uh, which were harming them, and at the same time, birds get the food. So that type of relation where both of the organism get benefit is known as symbiosis, and that type of uh, mode of nutrition is also seen seen in the case of uh, fungi. Okay, uh, so that is the example is lichen, which is the combination of algae and fungi. And uh, another point is that they are the decomposer of the environment, okay? They are the decomposer, means they decompose dead and decayed matter and helps to maintain uh, the balance in the ecosystem, okay? They break down the complex uh, molecule present in the dead and decayed matter and uh, dissociate or break down into simpler one and it releases into the soil and later on this uh, from the soil it can be absorbed by the autotrophs and helps in the recycling and act as a decomposer okay and uh, when we talk about the body of fungi mostly they are thallus means thallus means those organisms uh, whose body cannot be differentiated into root stem or leaves they are called thallus and this thallus uh, organism have a body called mycelium and mycelium is what mycelium is formed by the interconnection between in uh, a large number of hyphae okay and the hyphae are what hyphae are actually uh, filament like structure okay filament like structure uh, which may be septed or non septed or accepted now septed means when uh, the cell uh, organism have the many nucleus and they, there is divisor which which is called septed to divide the nucleus into different portion so if you see uh, hyphae are thread like structure okay and they are thread like structure they are interwoven like this uh, these are example of hyphae okay they are inter thread like structure so it may resembles to uh, roots in case of plant uh, they resembles to roots uh, they uh, do perform similar activities they, like that of uh, uh, septed hyphae means if there is nucleus, if there is separation like this, okay, now these are nucleus and they are separated by a divisor, this divisor which is called septate, okay, if septate is present, if they are having this type of structure, they are called septate hyphae, okay, they are septate hyphae, they are septate, uh, if they have nucleus uh, separated by a divisor uh, or septate is called septate, Hyphae and the one uh, which uh, do not have septate nucleus are there, cytoplasm are there, okay, but they are not differentiated by a septate, and that is called a septate type of hyphae. A septate, okay, a septate.
8 and the power and the power. Is it clear? So, now uh, about another uh, characteristic is that cell wall is made of uh, chitin or chitin we can say chitin uh, or chitin. Sometimes we spell it as chitin. So, chitin is polysaccharides. Okay. So, polysaccharide about that we will study in higher classes what are polysaccharides. Okay. And uh, they stores the food in the form of glycogen. Okay. What is glycogen? Glycogen uh, is uh, the form in which uh, carbohydrate, excess carbohydrate is stored in case of human body also as well as in case of other organism. Okay. So, uh, they store their food in the form of glycogen. Okay. Uh, that is about the uh, glycogen. Now, about the reproduction. How they reproduce? Okay. How they multiply their number? On the earth. So, the reproduction may be of vegetative, it may be budding, okay, it may be fragmentation or it may be fusion. Budding is a type of reproduction in which a small outgrowth of an organism takes place and then from the outgrowth of an organism, a new daughter organism is formed after the separation from the mother body that is about the body and it also has fragmentation fragmentation means splitting of uh, part of the body of an individual into different part and that splitted part broken part or pieces again uh, forms a new individual so that type of reproduction is called uh, what fragmentation okay and fusion is a common type of reproduction in which a single individual divides or multiplies into two or more than two cells to form a new individual okay that is the type of reproduction that is all uh, in case of vegetative and asexual reproduction in case of this they asexually reproduce by the formation of spores that is sporulation okay through the sporulation formation of the spores they can multiply their number okay and they can also reproduce sexually by different uh, methods okay sexually different uh, method like uh, we can say somatogamy okay one of the method by which they can reproduce is somatogamy what is somatogamy a fusion of somatic hyphae okay somatic hyphae uh, acting as a gamete for two sexually compatible mycelia so what happened in case of mycelia they may have uh, they actually do not have male or female gamete but they have positive or negative strain which act as a male or female and when they come closer to each other they fuse and mix with each other to form a new individual so that type of reproduction is found in a uh, case of what uh, fungi okay in sexual reproduction so more about the sexual reproduction you will study in higher classes okay so now last uh, point is that uh, this fungi are both useful as well as harmful so in case of useful fungi we can take the example of penicillin uh, penicillinum notatum okay penicillinum notatum uh, which uh, which is used by the alexander fleming to discover penicillin antibiotic okay penicillin antibiotic is produced from the penicillin notatum okay which uh, is used for used as antibiotic which is very useful to human being as well as uh, some of the fungi like mushroom some edible mushroom are there which uh, like agaricus contestris which is used for eating uh, vegetable eating uh, as a vegetable which is very nutritious and helps in uh, uh, preventing or lowering down uh, diabetic uh, as well as cholesterol or heart disease okay it is prescribed for uh, curing heart disease too and uh, similarly yeast 
one of the example of the uh, this uh, fungi is used for uh, in the fermentation of the bread uh, beer and uh, uh, cheese etc okay and harmful effect is that sometimes uh, this uh, plant uh, this uh, group may cause different types of disease like ring uh, worm uh, causes skin problem okay is in the skin uh, ring uh, like structure is found on the skin uh, okay that is caused and sometimes it causes allergy allergy also and it, it also helps in the spoiling of the food okay food contamination is also caused by the uh, which uh, fungus okay or fungi and amanita varna a type of mushroom which is non edible mushroom causes death or nausea also so uh, fungi are both useful as well as harmful to human being as well as other living organism as it causes diseases as well as it is used for uh, good purpose also okay so example if you say example are yeast mushroom and mucor which belongs to this kingdom so today we have discussed many things about the fungi so fungi are uh, large in number, they are non-vascular, multicellular, eukaryotic organisms, they are heterotopic, they cannot prepare their food themselves, uh, they, are, they act as a decomposer and uh, their body consists of mycelium or hyphae and their cell wall is made up of chitin, uh, chitin and they store the food in the form of glycogen and uh, they reproduce both vegetative, asexual and sexual method and they are useful as well as harmful to human being uh, as well as other living organism for today this much so i hope you have understood the characteristic of the fungi and let's uh, uh, and we will study more about the classification in next uh, class thank you for today thank you all stay home stay safe